Hello, welcome to Excel Highway. In today's video, I want to share with you a recipe nutritional calculator I created in Google Sheets. You can use this to build your own recipes and understand what is the nutritional value of each recipe. What's really cool about this file is that you can use it to build uh, sub recipes. So, for example, I created a recipe for pizza dough and I created a recipe for margarita pizza which uses pizza dough. And I'll show you that in a second. If you're interested to learn how to do this, stick around. I'm going to walk you through all the steps on how to build this file. First off, let's start with the gray sheets. These are the behind the scene sheets that uh, you don't have to do anything. The first one is the item list. This will create the drop down list throughout the file and it has a simple formula although it looks complicated so it's going to use unique vstack and sort so the vstack if you're not familiar it's taking let's say uh, ranges of data and basically compiling them one after the other in essence it's creating in this case taking two columns and creating one longer column so i'm going to use that to uh, collect the unique values in the ingredients database which is my ingredients and then recipe why it created recipes and then I'm going to sort it alphabetically so it's a nice clean uh, list. So that's pretty simple. Unit of measure, this is where um, you can convert, you can first of all create the drop down list for the unit of measure and also convert between the different types of unit of measure. So liquid and um, solid unit of measures separately. So for example, one teaspoon of one teaspoon is 0.3 tablespoon, right? Um, or let's say liter. So one liter of is a thousand milliliters. So this will convert those units. If you have, uh, and you'll see soon, you may have ingredient set up in a unit of measure. Let's say grams, and the uh, recipe will be in kilograms. So this is how you use this and it'll make it work. It's also here, these are the solid unit of measures, grams and ounces and pounds, and we have each. This is for things that don't have uh, weight or uh, weight or um, liquid unit of measure, like eggs and could be cans and things like that. So that's this table, it's already built, so you don't have to change anything here. Recipe database, I have a code that basically creates this. Um, so every recipe you create will generate uh, this, uh, the rows for that uh, recipe. It's going to have the recipe name, the number of servings for that recipe, the ingredient, unit of measure, and quantity. This is the example I talked about. So pizza dough is a recipe that I created here, and margarita pizza uses that recipe. So you don't have to basically create these lines for pizza you just use pizza dough. So you have the uh, quantity and then this part will convert um, that item into the calories, protein, carbs, and fat that I'll show you in the database and we'll convert um, let's see if there's an example here okay it's the same so we'll create an example so you see how it converts from whatever unit of measure your recipe is to whatever the unit of measure for the ingredient database. So the ingredient database, this is where you fill out the ingredient name. You select the unit of measure from the UOMs and you uh, define the quantity and calories, etc., etc. This is only for the ingredients, not for the recipes. Uh, if you don't know how to create a data validation, I'll show you very quickly. Click on data, data validation, add rule, drop down from range, click here, go to whatever you want to select. Again, click it and then you can, I always like to leave the last uh, digits blank, so it's just going to go through the entire range. I also don't like the chip, I like the arrow, and then it looks like this need to now delete it. Oh, shucks. Alright, done. 
So that's this part, very simple. Uh, and by the way, I take this from ChatGBT, which you see I have already ready, so I'll show you soon. Then we have the recipe sheet. This is where um, you create a recipe. So let's say I want to create a recipe for a tomato sauce. Tomato sauce recipe with these columns. Um, ingredient, unit of measure, and so that's going to create a tomato sauce. All right, I got these. And I'll also ask number of servings. So four. So I'll take the recipe as is over here. Paste special, um, let's call it tomato, call it special. Tomato sauce, or you know, fresh tomato sauce. Okay, so immediately you see I got all these red um, triangles and NAs and whatnot. This is because all of these ingredients do not exist over here. So now what I want to do is check out I have tomatoes fresh, onion finely chopped, bash, oregano, and black pepper. Just gonna copy them over here, and I'm gonna ask add unit of measure and quantity and nutritional value for that quantity. Okay. Let's see if they understand. Uh, no, no, no. Not for recipe, for general table, let's say. Let's see if it understood. Okay, yeah, it understood. So it gives me that. I only ask for a few, but fine. So I'll already start taking this. I got the tomatoes fresh. Got to transpose that. Take that over here. Okay. Calories. Did I ask for carbs? I didn't ask for fiber. Why did it give me fiber? I don't know. So calories, carbs. Calories, protein is the second one. Car, fiber, oh damn. Carbs. That's over here. Protein is over here. No fiber, just fat. All right. Okay, now I'm just gonna select, just gonna copy grams. They're all grams, all right, good. Okay, so now we have basically the ingredients. So if I go back to the recipe sheet, I should, oh, missing garlic minced. Let's add that. Calories, carbs, protein. Calories, carbs, and protein. And fat was point five. Okay. And grams. Okay. So now we should have everything. Okay, good. Now we need to change this to 
just make sure it identifies the unit of measure. So this is going to be each. Well, gloves is going to be each. Teaspoons. Teaspoons. Gram. Teaspoon. Teaspoon. Okay. So this is causing some issues here, trying to convert uh, unit of measures that don't match, right? Can't convert tablespoon, sorry, each with gram. So I'll just switch it to gram. I don't know, let's say 10 grams, 30 grams, whatever. And here, I'll also switch to grams. And here, two grams. Okay, it doesn't matter if it's not accurate, uh, but you got to make sure that these are the same. So you use um, liquid, liquid, and otherwise it can't convert. All right, um, but now you see, for example, this is in kgs, this is in grams, so it's going to convert and give you 270 calories for. Um, one and a half kilograms of tomatoes. And we can see if that makes sense because 100 grams is 18. So times 1.5. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. I'm, this can, of course, be shrunk a bit. All right, so look, everything looks okay. Now I have a fresh tomato sauce. I, this is the total per serving, because this is four servings. Once I click on this button, it's gonna basically create a new entry here. So once I click this, the app script works and it copies over here the lines for the fresh tomato sauce with everything. Now I'll also see it here in the menu. Um, and now if I go to the recipe sheet, I'll also be able to select it and get basically the calories. Okay, so I don't I can just use that now in my recipes. So how does this uh, work? So this is input, this is input, this, these are drop-downs. This is going to uh, basically, let's start with this one. This is going to check if this exists in the menu. So if it exists in the menu, it means it's a recipe. If it doesn't, it means it's an ingredient. That's where I have the ing or recipe, res or rec, sorry, text here. I'm going to use that throughout the uh, sheet to, for different formatting. Formulas. So if this is an ingredient, this line, I'm going to look for um, the ingredient unit of measure in the database because it's this. Same for the quantity. But if it's a uh, recipe, I'm going to assign it as each because a recipe is each, right? It's not. It's not a weight or liquid. It has to be each. It's a serving. So the quantity. Um, if it's a uh, recipe, I'm going to go over here to the database and check the number of servings because that is the quantity of the recipe. Unit of measure conversion. I am going to look for the combination of unit of measure and ingredient unit of measure using index match. Index match is going to return to me a combination of column and row. So this is very useful for these cases. Um, the formula looks intimidating, but it's not. So you have index. That's the range or the table that you're searching for. Then use match first values, what you're looking for in the first column of your table. In this case, A1 through A17. The second match is 
the header or the column, let's say the column that you're looking for. So I'm going to match the second uh, unit of measure in A1 through uh, Q1. So basically this range, right? And um, first of all, I'm checking if this is greater than zero. If not, uh, give it a minus one. And I'm multiplying by the quantity divided by the ingredient quantity. That's just going to give me the the actual conversion that I need to multiply this. Then I have the calories, protein, and carbs. Again, using index match. Two options, either I'm using index match here or index match here. Sorry, where I'm so summarizing. summarizing. Um, long, very long formula, but that's all that it does. So index match, and I'm using dollar signs to reference the different column. Recipe issue, this is going to just show me if I have a problem. I need to match the unit of measure between them. And this I showed you before. So that's how you build that part. Uh, let's take a quick look at the app script that's used here. So basically what it does, it checks it works whenever there's an edit in the uh, sheet. I'm looking for the sheet called recipe sheet. Only want this to work over here. Only want it to work for um, cell two, F2, which is column six, row two. So only if that's a true, which is I have a uh, checkbox here, then run the code. Otherwise, don't do anything. So. Now I have two sheets, recipe sheet and recipe database. And this is how I'm referencing um, the number of rows and column, and sorry, the next row to copy. So I'm just using formulas here. It's just easier for me than do it here in the code. Then I'm just gonna copy the ingredients using this um, code together with the recipe and the number of servings. And finally, I'm gonna clear out um, everything here. So this area, this area, and the text box. That's this part, that's the most complicated part, and we have the menu. Again, we're gonna use unique, so unique on the recipe database. That's gonna give me all the recipes that I have here. Uh, the number, I'm oh, sorry, A2 through B, so it's gonna also pull the number of servings. And each of these is just gonna be a sum ifs divided by the number of servings, so sum ifs for columns I through L each time changing the column but keeping column A as what's being checked the if. So if on that and divided by number of servings and so I get every time I eat a basic vanilla cupcake it's 200 calories. All right so that's how you can create your very own recipe nutritional calculator hope you found value in this video. If you did, please hit that like button, make a comment. I always read and respond, and have a great day.